Okay. Tank is in the wall. Alright, so I uh, got all this area mostly cleaned up. This is what we are going to be looking at. I can't wait. We're going to have a couch there. Uh, obviously, it's going to be all drywalled off. Uh, still don't have any time frame for all that. But, uh, yeah. Here, so, here's what I was talking about in the last couple videos. We got all this room here. Uh, return pump going to come up. I'll go back in there and uh, show you all this out. But, yeah. Going to be plenty of room to do everything we want. And here is the view from the inside. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep this stand. Um just I I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm overbuilding this stuff. Um all right, so anyway, here uh I might be able to get a decent view now about what we're doing back here. All right, so like I said, uh there's the in the last couple of videos, there's the Owaki. Um I'm going to have that plumbed on the left side and in the future I'm going to have a second return pump coming in through here feeding all this and then uh that's gonna be the refugium, but uh, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have the my my protein skimmer here. I got the Vertex 180i. Um, on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday this upcoming week, so uh, a couple days from now, um, the plumbing is gonna come, and then I'm gonna be able to, um, essentially be. I I, I gotta do the flooring first, uh, so I'm just gonna run through the. I'm gonna run through all the. Um, measurements and everything like that make sure that everything's good to go but uh yeah there, there's the there's the synergy reef overflow which is gonna go right here uh I'm gonna run the Herbie method it's gonna come down and uh go into those two slots again the lighting's terrible down here but that'll that'll be changed once uh once they get a just basically get a light fixture um but yeah I mean a lot of a lot of room to operate back in here. Um, there's the shelf. You can actually see into the other room. It's my gym set, but uh, yeah. Again, uh, I'm gonna do a brute trash can of automatic water change here because it's awesome. Because I can just take the plumbing and come across here and right on the other. Oh, sorry, I just ran into the wall. Um, right on the other side of this wall right here is our water so literally i just need to plumb it maybe <laughs> maybe 25 feet and, and that's it i don't need to i don't need to take take a i don't i don't need to drill holes in my foundation and take it all through the all outside and into a into a shed yada 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 like some other people have to but um so i'm fortunate from that standpoint but anyway yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be wonderful. Um, I got I got two viewable sides here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna black out the the back of the tank anymore. Um, I just kind of figured I was gonna do that, but um, I'm gonna probably have about the same amount of rock work. I haven't. I'll let the rock to dictate how how the design's gonna be. Um, I mean, the tank's what 23 inches tall. There's, a, there's about 23 inches worth of room in here, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a deep sand sand bed yet. I don't. I just. I just don't know. Um. Uh, I'll, again, I'll, I'll let. I'll, I'll put some stuff in there. Let it, let it figure, and, I, and I'll figure out how how that's gonna how that's gonna go after the fact. But yeah. Anyway, framing part of the project is freaking complete, and I am. I'll tell you what, guys. I am excited about this. Um. Doesn't look like much now, but looks hell of a lot different from uh, where it was a week ago or even a month and a half ago when the, when this was all still walled off. So um, thanks for hanging out with me, and this is part four. And if you want to check out the ridiculousness in my last couple videos, then go for it, and everyone have a safe weekend.